Thanks for staying with us. I'm Brandon Taylor. And I'm Caroline Dade. Today, the Wisconsin Supreme Court decided the Republican-controlled Joint Finance Committee was acting unconstitutionally when it blocked land conservation projects and updates to state buildings. New at 4, Grace Olch spoke with Democratic Senator Kel DeRoyes, who sits on the committee in Grace. Democrats say this ruling is a victory. Brandon and Caroline, the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled six to one that the Joint Finance Committee violated the separation of powers between the state's legislative and executive branches when it blocked conservation projects funded by a stewardship program. The lawsuit was filed by Governor Tony Evers against Republican co-chair of the Joint Finance Committee, Senator Howard Markline. Governor Evers is incredibly happy with the decision. Earlier today, he called it a victory for the people of Wisconsin. Senator Mark Line was not available for an interview, but he sent a joint statement with co-chair Representative Mark Bourne. The two called the decision unfortunate, saying these provisions have ensured taxpayer resources are spent wisely and that communities and stakeholders have had a seat at the table on important projects impacting their area. They go on to say the entire stewardship program is now in jeopardy, which their Democratic colleague on the Joint Finance Committee, Kel Roy, says is not true. The stewardship program is in jeopardy. Um, that's because the Republicans are unwilling to fund it, even though it's incredibly popular. You know, the Republicans still have uh, complete control over how much money goes into the program. Roy says the state Supreme Court decision was focused on the separation of powers issue. The legislature gave the executive branch the power to distribute the money allocated for the stewardship program when the program was established. Once that power was given, the legislature can't make decisions on how to spend the money unless spending laws are rewritten. And tonight at 6, I'll have you covered on what Roy says the next steps are and why she thinks this sets an important precedent for the state's legislature moving forward.